Iraq, recipe for disaster. As these words are being formed, Iraq is a site of disaster. The northern city of Mosul is falling to armed Islamic militants. Bombings are claiming more and more lives, and Iraq's military are so uneven to the task that they're dropping their arms, ditching their uniforms, and fleeing. Nearly 800 billion American dollars have been spent, some 4,500 U.S. casualties, over a decade of war and occupation, and Iraq is on the brink of unraveling further. All that time, all those lives, all that money, wasted on a pipe dream of Iraqi democracy, or even the illusion of it. The next time a war hawk squawks about the need for American military action to solve some global problem, think about Iraq. The next time some hyped up politician calls for your son or daughter to sacrifice, think about Iraq. The next time a neighborhood school is shuttered because of no money to support it, think about Iraq. Wars for lives, think about it. Think about Iraq. From Imprisoned Nation, this is Mumia Abu Jamal. These commentaries are recorded by Noel Hanrahan of Prison Radio. Today, but first, I want to say the views and opinions of that of the arena does not express that of Comcast, its staff, its associates. And with that being said, today's title, oh, and viewer discretion is advised. Today's topic is the ISIS crisis, the ISIS crisis. And before we get to that title, I want to introduce my panel the, on the arena. I'm going to start with the lovely Rachel. How are you doing, Rachel? Good. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you for having me. Thank you. To her right, we got Anthony, veteran, no stranger to the arena. Thank you. How are you? I'm doing good. Thanks Anthony. for having me. Man, tell people what you do, Anthony. Uh, PowerNet TV is on Saturday nights, uh, 10 p.m. to 11. We speak truth to power and we uh, envision solving issues. Sovereign. Solving issues. Oh, solving. Okay, I thought you said sovereign. You know, sovereign's a bad word. Mm -hmm. I hear you. Self-determination. <laughs> we have to say self-determination instead of sovereign these days. That's right. Uh -huh. yeah, that's right. And to his right, we got Vince. What's going How on? How you doing? How you doing, everybody? Good to see everybody. All right, all right. Vince, I'm going to start with you. ISIS. Who's ISIS? What do they want? Okay, let's just tell everybody what ISIS stands for. ISIS means the Islamic State of Syria. The Islamic State of Syria and Iraq. Okay. Which now, as of June 29th, they're just the Islamic State because they've declared themselves a caliphate um, with al-Baghdadi okay. as their caliph. And a caliphate is basically an Islamic, Islamic State uh, where they want to spread the Islamic word and bring everybody in their area under Islamic control. Okay even with higher aspirations to control the world, as they're also taking about, uh, talking about attacking Rome. A world theocracy. Hope is. So, okay. And if they can do that, then they say they can own the world. So I guess that's their ultimate goal. But right now, they just want the <laughs> Islamic State over in Iraq and the Levant territories, which consist of Jordan, Israel, Palestine, Lebanon, Kuwait, Cyprus, and a small area in Turkey. Okay. So. Right now, they're on a mission, and they're uh, fulfilling their mission right now because it's happening, and no one seems to be willing what, to stop them. Explain their mission there. Everybody will fall rule to the Islamic State. Everybody. It doesn't matter what you believe, where you're from. Everybody will be under the Islamic State and Sharia law. Oh, that wow. is their ultimate goal. They don't want any negotiations. What? They don't want any resistance. They want compliance, full compliance, and that's it. And you, you mentioned the uh, uh, Islamic tax. Yes. Oh, yeah. They, uh, they gave the people, I believe it was on Wednesday or Thursday, they made a decree to the Christians remaining in Iraq mm -hmm. that either convert and pay Islamic taxes to the Sharia courts, leave or face the sword. 
go. Wow. So convert, okay. pay the taxes, the Islamic taxes, leave Iraq completely, or face the sword. And they gave, they made this decree Wednesday or Thursday, and they gave them till 5 p.m. yesterday. Mm. Oh wow. To be out of Iraq. Mm. Okay. Well, Aunt, you're the elder on the panel here. How does one determine if somebody is sincerely converted over to Islam? I mean, how do we make that determination? Is there like a meter that says, oh yeah, he believes in Allah, he's no longer a Christian? I mean, is there a check and balance system? Or you, well, you know, honestly, I've noticed. I mean, because there's, all, there's a deadline here. I, I mean. I've noticed all religions play Simon Says and Monkey See, Monkey Do. <laughs> right. Okay. And uh, this, uh, so there is. You know, Sharia law is Sharia law, and if you read it, it will have some constructs and constraints like all the other uh, uh, controlling mechanisms that try right. to control humanity. Right. Uh, the question is... So there's no petitioning Allah or, you know, making uh, amendments or making maybe some votes, maybe say, you know what, we don't agree with Allah, can we vote him out of power? <laughs> Can well, we? not, under, <laughs> not under Islamic, <laughs> not under the Islamic uh, rule, and you know, so there's just, no democracy. In no, Islam? there's no that's democracy cute. at all. But re in reality, uh, you know, we ask, uh, do you have proof of Moses? Right. Because it's an allegory. Yeah. It's an allegory, and these uh, staging wars are set up on allegories. Right. Mm -hmm. And so, if we can begin to understand the hocus pocus being played, we realize <laughs> that the hoax is on us and the pokes are on us. <laughs> right. Really? Like as well as the straps, the whips, yeah. and everything else. <laughs> the <straps laughs> exactly. The stars are floating around in our sky because we got yeah. hit with amnesia for 400 years. <laughs> exactly. But like you're saying, I understand the question is, <clears throat> is there a way for a people to petition God without mm -hmm. having to deal with a, excuse me, an imam, a pope, or a priest. Okay. You know, and, and uh, where these religions are playing, again, where they're playing mm -hmm. monkey see, monkey do, mm -hmm. and Simon says, mm -hmm. and red light, green light, and that's mm -hmm. basically what these religions are doing. So there's no limit to ISIS as far as the demands. They could say, well, you know what? You're tied there. We know you spent about, hmm. X amount of dollars. So we want to tax you tax. because, you know, you're looking all sharp. Yeah. And Allah just told me to tell you mm -hmm. to put some money in my bank account. Yeah. I mean, is there any way to verify that? Or <laughs> or they can just say that tie is not part of That's the right. Islamic dress right. code. Right. We don't wear blue. Right. Take right. it off yeah. or Die. face the sword, basically. Yeah. That's, that's, so that's there's how no their ultimatums work. Yeah. Now, we got the fine sister here, Rachel. <laughs> Now, you know, he, you know, I, we, we talked about the Endless War Act, you know, and I, I don't want good to try culturally. <laughs> no, 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 I'm just kidding. No, 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 no. What I'm kidding. saying is, is I have, I don't know, you don't like the term religious, but I have okay. good people that I know. Okay. You know, you, so you, you have people like, that you care about. Yeah, I care okay. about, okay. right. And, and so th this, is, this is a twofold thing. Mm -hmm. This is a twofold mm -hmm. thing. You know, mm -hmm. I, I know how the government thinks because you got ISIS on one hand, mm -hmm. and Anthony, we don't get into who's supporting these groups, mm -hmm. okay. and we have the religious right in America on the other hand, mm -hmm. writing the Endless War Act. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Meaning. Okay. Hebrew Israelites, we can consider y'all terrorists and throw y'all in Guantanamo Bay because you're not believing in the God the way we believe in God, even though we read the same Bible. Oh, but you know, you Hebrew Israelites be do on the street I corners. Read, and, I actually oh. read Hebrew, so okay. I don't know about the English translations and all that. I actually deal with the paleo. But wait a minute, God so. said we're going to put the language in English. Well, I, mm. didn't, I had never read across that. We're going to see that the, might have is been it lost many? in translation. Yeah, somewhere. maybe that's what that was. Maybe that's what that was. I know many tongues, but many tongues have been here from the beginnings with the Tower of Babel. Okay. Where there yeah. are many different tongues. Right. But when you trace it all the way back to the origin of where man before he the tongues were dispersed right. to characters, what we see in hieroglyphics, um, 
in um, Aztecs, uh, you know, those different characters, they speak volumes more than words, words themselves. Right. Mm, right. And um, you, you said something about, <laughs> I'm trying to remember, um, about the father, partitioning the father. If it's the father, maybe it's a, a woman, who knows? Nobody's been up there to. Maybe it's in the to, That's hair you know, right? It nobody's ever been, been up there that, to that actually be confirm. Yeah. That'd be you know, but what I can say, what I see before me, I see three extraordinary, beautiful brothers. Thank you, thank you, man. Flatter's and I am thankful to be a sister among my brothers, and to be able to gaze upon their beauty, and to also see that that beautiful male side of one who is up there. And they also can see the female version of what so may be up there. So what you're saying is God <laughs> is all things, then we're God. Thank you. You're God. Thank you. And you can't label it male, female, right. or otherwise. Because it just it, is. It, it just is. It's just like the messengers. The messengers do, that move throughout the earth like the wind. Okay. Who can grab the wind and say, are you male or female? <laughs> <laughs> which one are you? I know you're a strong opponent, but which one are right. you? Why I should I have to declare? This conversation, we would be considered caliphs right now. Kafirs. Well, whatever. The Islamic right. Because you're freestyling, title, you're freestyling a being. Always being titles. Right, right. According to <laughs> Islam, which Islam is a spinoff. Christianity. Man and his titles and his, his, his games. Right, right, right. But <laughs> hear, hear me out, hear me out. I don't think I've ever heard Islam was a spinoff of Christianity. That's, that's well, an okay. interesting perspective to me. Okay, well, let me, let me, let's, let's go to uh, Abraham. Okay. He mm -hmm. had two sons, Isaac and Ishmael. Yeah. Okay. And Ishmael Hollywood. is a nation of Islam. Isaac is a nation of the Hebrews and the Christians. Okay. So they come from the same bloodline. Right. The right. Hebrews and the Christians are. Hebrews, are, yeah. The, the Hebrews Christ, and Christians are two separate But read sects. the same book. No. Which is an allegory. I don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> I, I, I like don't think so because the term Christian only came through the Greeks. Right, that right, right. wasn't a term that, and if you tra if you know anything about history, if you, if you understand Greek and can read Greek, like I can do a little bit, um, when you look at the Greek uh, letter system, mm -hmm. um, the Christo, where they say Christ or yes, Christ, crystals, right. it comes from oil. You remember back in the day when Grandma used to fry that chicken Crystal, with the Crisco yes, oil? Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. That's Christo, okay. which is Latin. <laughs> okay, well, they would let's, call it. They would call Christo. Well, I'm glad we brought up Greece because you know I think it was the Persian king, King Xerxes. Mm -hmm. Xerxes. Who, the, Xerxes, who, who the movie portrayed as being some tyrant, actually was the Greeks that were the tyrants. But they adopted Xerxes and the Afrikaners, uh, was it Hannibal's system of mm -hmm. a democracy. Mm -hmm. So Vince, you made a very good point about us being gods, but what were the checks and balances for these gods? Um, well, what kind of God do you want to be? Do you want to be a tyrant? I want to. Or do you want to serve your community? Do you want to be one that does like the one that's high above, that placed everything here for man's pleasure and enjoyment? But who determines high above? Because we you live know? in a society now. Because We're I mean, I've above seen society. Oh, oh no, no, no. Well, well, let me, let, let's, okay, let's let's talk about the Hebrews. No, we're not talking about the Hebrews. Let's talk about. We're going to no, talk no, past no. man and his games and his ideology. Hold on, hold on, please. Okay. I want to simply ask, mm -hmm. where are the checks and balances? See, a democracy provides that. We could say what we want about America and George Bush and Barack Obama and the Illuminati, but at the end of the day, they give us the illusion, smoke and mirrors of a democracy. Right. Mm -hmm. Once you give the concept of a democracy to any country, you can topple that country when they live under a dictatorship, because that's one person, that's centralized government, a theocracy. Mm -hmm. Let's, let's break down what a theocracy mm -hmm. is. A the theocracy is everything in the Bible and everything in the Quran. So therefore, mm -hmm. anything that is a threat to democracy, mm -hmm. which would be a theocracy mm -hmm. in the Bible, okay. you would fall under the Endless War Act. And Another so document of let me ask Anthony this question, because you know we talk about how evil America is, but America has a good job of showing how 
evil other folks are. They show the flaws and the religious, that's why they have, when I hear the Endless War Act, I'm like, yeah, get those terrorists. Get those religious fanatics. Because there's no checks and balance there. Well, actually, when I hear the Endless War Act, to me, it's a metaphor for capitalism. It, 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 it is. Because it capitalism is. puts you on a war footing because it requires exploitation, exploration, colonization, which means I agree. foreign, alien. But isn't that the same thing ISIS won? It yes. is. It yes. is. Isn't that the same thing yes. the, 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 the Hebrews want? Whenever you look at a poem. Wait, 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 answer the question. Isn't that the same thing the Hebrews want? Because I know Gideon, he's going to come in half hour, but because he doesn't say it, he's down for well, look, theocracy. Can I answer? Can yes, I answer yes, since please. you just yes, interject please. me as the Hebrew? Um, <laughs> no, no, when, when I say Hebrew, I'm saying all Hebrews are down with a theocracy, period. Well, speak for yourself. No, I'm not a Hebrew. I'm an atheist. Okay, well, speak. They need to come and be on <laughs> okay. the panel and speak for themselves. I can only speak so for myself. What kind of myself. system do you want, Rich? I want a system where, okay, where should I be looking? <laughs> I want a system where everything is equal, no dominance. Man has plenty to eat, his sickness and disease of all kind, wherever, and when I say man, I'm not just talking about man. Male. Man so in human general, kind. humankind. Let's just keep it at humankind. How about right. that? your Bible, though. Let it finish. Oh, please, finish. please. please. Right. Do I need to bang the gavel? <laughs> bang the gavel, bang the gavel. I am talking. Okay, all okay, right. thank you. And harmony, because what we see today is humankind orchestrating war throughout all the land. No one has any peace. And it's all for selfish gain. It's all for corruption, arrogance. It's all for exploitation. Rachel, let, let and me, nobody me. seems to say it's enough. I have enough. I'm wealthy. I'm having. I have enough. Let me divide what I have and take care of my own house. But everybody's in everybody's house and in everybody's business. And it all stems to war. war. But doesn't hold on, hold war. on, hold on, hold on. That doesn't doesn't uh, the Bible, your God, tell you to go into other people's business to make sure that they convert and make sure you go to war. And didn't he tell and Saul to kill them all? Right, kill them all. Go in there, <laughs> not only kill the women, okay. children, men, kill the pets, kill the plants, kill everything. <laughs> Every I remember they came back free. and said, "Wait, we killed everything. Okay. Uh, did, did you let the plants leave? Uh, okay. uh, uh, yeah, go, go back, back and kill the plants. Go back okay. and finish. I'm just saying, okay. war is all brewed up in can, the Bible. Can, can, the can I answer? Did you Please. Okay, do. okay. Now to address that question. At that period of time, yes, because the lands that are apportioned are given as an inheritance. That's what all the warring and tribal disputes over in the East are all about. With Lebanon, Jordan, you have um, Turkey, Iraq, you have all these, uh, what they would say, Islamic brotherhoods fighting over land. Tribal disputes, family disputes, who should really be sitting on the throne? and making the family decisions. That's what it all boils down right, to. But based on now, though, as right? in history, according to the Hebrew writings, mm -hmm. of course, that was the command that was given because it was an inheritance. Every son, daughter, has an inheritance. So yes, if someone has taken possession of your inheritance, it is your duty to fight for your inheritance okay. if they don't submit because you have proper documentation, you have right to it, Okay, let me interject. I'm just going to add to that. You have to take. I'm going to interject. That's just like that. me coming into your house. I, okay, let me let me say this. Up shop. Let me say this. She says inheritance, <laughs> right? Right. You know the biggest fight of the homosexuals was inheritance because they wanted to inherit their partner's will. And but you know, oh, but, right, you're right, you're right, right. 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 Something she's talking about heritages and fighting. Well, if that's what they want, right? So, you so, are that so, vessel, so go oh, forth. Hold on, hold on. So we have the homosexuals here, right? They would inherit their partner's wealth, inheritance, okay? But in order to do that, they have to have what they call the Equal Marriage Act. Equal Rights, right. Right, Equal Rights Act, which is a, a fight for what they call human rights. Right. But guess who's against that? Who, oh, me? The people who read the Quran, the Torah, the you know the, the people who the Bible, right? Well, and so, will, so the, 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 well, okay, but go ahead. you got the you go got ahead. the watch the strategy go here. Ahead. Watch go the ahead. strategy. This is what we do in the arena. Go ahead. Go ahead. The strategy is that you know we're going to pass this for the sake of democracy, 
you know, no matter how I feel about the homosexuals, that is a human right. But guess what? You have people now saying that, um, you know, that goes against the will of God. So if we look at strategy, see, me being a black nationalist, I've always known that there were homosexuals in the government. So right. there's like, oh, really? Y'all want to fight like that? Okay, <laughs> we're going to write the Endless War Act. That's nothing new. No, it, it is actually is new. Because you have people out here saying, you know, well, no, we want to, we're not like those Islamists. We're, we're the nice Christians. But you, you, they don't understand is that this is a strategy. Mm -hmm. So no matter how soft and rosy and pedally with flowers as you come, mm -hmm. they see a theocracy as a threat. So anytime you impose Allah, Jesus, the Bible, the Quran, mm -hmm. the Torah, and say, oh, it's the will of God, you are going against the endless war act and people say that they know but they really don't know the severity of this can and these are the same people that are can i interject hold on hold on okay. that are that are that are supporting isis because guess where they're getting their weapons from same people that's supporting al-qaeda right same people that are supporting the taliban right i know anthony we talked about saudi arabia didn't we turkey you know, Arabia, see how they plan Qatar. everybody against everybody right that's it. see how they that's divide it. and conquer See how they tell the Hebrews, your God is the number one God. Then they go to the Arabs, your God is the number one God. Divide then they go to the Christians, your God is the number one God. Divide and they and play conquer. both sides on the way. Divide, divide and, and conquer. conquer. And write a check on both ends. Write a check on, on both, both ends. Sides. Right, because Boko Haram That's devil's advocate. is funny. <laughs> devil's it's funny. Advocate. No, no, play but every because as simple right. as this, because on the arena, I know the strategy. I studied them. See, I'm a black nationalist. I have no choice but to study them. Mm. So what I'm saying is that the Endless War Act, once again, mm -hmm. you have, let, let's just look when, at Boko Haram. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. I, when was this Endless War Act initiated? Last year. At okay. What time? It was, it was, it was passed during the holiday. Okay. The Endless War Act. It was uh, John McCain, you know, he's the main one beating the drum, and it was either during Christmas or, okay. you know, the holidays December. when we right. worried about the they Super Bowl. Everything right, else. we worried about everything else. Right. Everything else. The world. Right. Everybody was in on their vacation. They were right. Right, they were writing the Endless War Act. Okay. Okay. And so then, and then people wonder why, well, why Obama can't get these people footage. out of Guantanamo Bay because they are under the, it meaning they have a grandfather clause. Meaning, yes, we can go back. It goes back retroactive. It goes yeah. back retroactive, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so when I'm trying to educate the Muslims, the Hebrews, the ones that keep telling me they know about this, which I don't think they do because we have agents everywhere. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We have agents. And people can, they, they can feel threatened, meaning the Bible, no matter what anybody says, the Torah, no matter what anybody says, imposes a theocracy. It does. It does. There's no debating that. Right. Debate about it. right. And a person being felt threatened by a theocracy can say, you know what, we're going to pay Rachel a visit at 3 o'clock in the morning. Come. We're going to give you one way ticket to Guantanamo. Come. Right. So you all are I'm saying, welcome. Right. You so are welcome. Right. Right. And before we go, let's have a glass of wine and sit down and discuss it and tell me, you know, hey, I ain't going to put up no fight because if it's his will, you know, hey. That's just so convenient. Let it be. His will. I, I mean, she said, let's sit down and discuss it. Like, that's how everybody is of a mentality <laughs> where discussion is an option. Right. Well, see, right. because if those you are the look at destructors ISIS, in the earth. <laughs> if you look at ISIS, uh -huh. and this is going back to what you said earlier about uh -huh. the uh, checks and balances. Yes. He, he was asking, where's the checks and balances on ISIS? Well, for ISIS, their checks and balances, we are an Islamic state right. looking to bring all these other Islam regions under our political control. Oh, okay. really? Okay. And their checks and balances oh. is we are the Islamic state. Right. We follow Sharia law. Mm -hmm. Well, where did that come, with, come from? Sharia law came from Muhammad. Right. Muhammad okay. was the messenger of God. Right. Hmm. That's it. That's, that's it, the right. checks and balances system right oh, that's there. That's all. As far as no more concerned. information. No anything no. else. And the U.S. That's check it. and balance system isn't much better. I spoke wow. with Cynthia McKinney, that's and she was got. talking about. <laughs> Cynthia was talking about how every House member mm -hmm. has to sign a mm -hmm. resolution to support Israel. Right. Mm. All of them, in order to have their seat. 
See, yeah. so there's no check and balance there because right. now if an issue comes up, Israel, look what they're doing to Palestine right now. Absolutely. Uh, 100, 200 and something dead, most of them women and children. Oh, it's it's a war against the citizenry, but why aren't the people, why aren't congressmen filibustering this? It's because they had to sign off that they support Israel. Right. So the check and balance system in our form of government is non-existent anymore. Well, then you know, Benjamin Netanyahu's the real gangster, baby. <laughs> he's a gangster. He's well, not so early. Look at him. The, the well, one percent is the truly gangster, the gangster. Then he should have the inheritance, which is from oh, he, he the does. river now. No, hear me clearly. Okay. The river now, which is from the east side of the river now, all the way to the west side of the Euphrates, and all the land in between. That is the historical document. Okay, well now let me give an atheist perspective. He has oh, inheritance, yeah, it's, called, it's called nuclear weapons. Okay. It's called F-15 jets. It's called, it's called, it's called in Abram tanks. <laughs> what is the little girl who played on in the and Jet Li movie, movie where she was like, push the button, push the, the button, button, don't button. button. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I so, feel the same so way. I'm, I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. <laughs> I'm a little disheartened that we talk about land that we do not control, but they have nuclear weapons <laughs> to enforce their well, can sovereignty. I, well, let me ahead. just say why we got nuclear weapons. Okay. <clears throat> you pay your Georgia Power bill, mm -hmm. you know, and then right. Georgia Power goes and they buy, a, they build a nuclear plant. That's yeah. right. And then they have uh, uranium-238 yes. and, and then they spin it, in other words, they boil it, make steam, but then they have uranium-235. And then they use that depleted uranium and they put them in tank busters, uh, bunker busters, right. they, they, they shoot it over to Iran, they shoot it to Iraq, they shoot mm -hmm. it through the Middle East. Mm -hmm. It creates mm -hmm. a aerosol okay. contaminant that stays in existence mm -hmm. for 4.5 billion years. Right. The mm -hmm. earth is only about 6 billion years or so they, so they right. say. Right. Well, <laughs> if, you're gonna, if you're gonna say, if you're gonna say that I'm gonna go liberate you, if I'm, I'm, I'm gonna liberate this sister yeah. by contaminating her land right. for more generations than you can count. Yeah. You see, that, that Georgia Power Bill is what's fueling that. Mm -hmm. See, and, and understand, I think I may have spoken to uh, right. brother about it earlier, uh, there's an energy crisis that's made up. Mm -hmm. And the energy crisis is, uh, Nicholas Tesla gave uh, the world free energy, mm -hmm. free energy. It was Edison who wanted to, and capitalism that says, no, we, we don't want to give it to him for free. Right. I've got all this copper mines, and, and so let's, let me make something off this. Wait, but, and that's where our crisis is. It, we can free the world of energy, of the energy crisis, just by running up into uh, uh, Area 51, taking the doggone technology and putting it to use. You might have to, okay. you might have to take out 1%, but th this is a, a reasonable objective. Well, and I'm gonna say this before I bring it <laughs> in. I'm gonna bring it uh -oh. in. <laughs> I agree. I totally agree. Something happened, Lord. Well, well, let me, okay, when we're talking about <laughs> capitalism, right, and this is what I always have a, shout out to Tracy, I always have a, going back and forth with the whole revolutionary communist party. We agree that capitalism is an evil. It's created through slavery. Mm -hmm. What we're talking about here is the administration, not the economy, because one thing I do agree with Islam is that they, uh, it, most Islamists in the world, they're for a socialist economic structure. So we, 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 we I, I don't that. Most of the world, you know what I'm saying, they're not down with capitalism, but what yeah. I'm saying is that where I draw the line with the Islamists, with the Hebrews, with the Christians, are the theocracy. You know what I'm saying? See, I'm well read in all the Bible, the Torah, and the keeping the gas, and the Noctoc tablets. I, I do, that's and why I'm an atheist. I was, <laughs> you, know, read, you read translation, which is man. The point that I'm making, the point man. that I'm making, you know, I'm glad you said that. confusion. Man is why we all is have. That, okay, okay, but well, through the all. actions, through your actions, mm -hmm. The religious community are the most homophobic mm -hmm. community on the planet. That is a fact. Yes. Okay, yeah, now, let, let me just say this. I mean, next to the skinheads. Mm -hmm. but let me just say this. However I feel about the homosexuals, they have a right to life. Correct. Number one. Correct. Number two, they pay taxes just like we do, right? 
I'm not concerned about their taxes. Uh, right. I'm, see, uh, uh, taxes okay, too. okay, right. We all pay taxes. Thank so, right, you. so we Thank all you. should have a Thank say. You. So, if you have this Thank group you. over here, and I'm glad you said that, Rachel, we got to bring you back when we deal with the mm -hmm. uh, libertarians, the Democrats, and the Republicans. We're going to do a show on that, but I'm glad you said that. What I'm saying is that you have groups, and I hear Gideon snarling over there. We're going to get them on in a minute. What I'm saying is that I respect any group that comes together and puts out demand, where they be, you know what, we want the, the illegals, they want the DREAM Act, you know what I'm saying? Or the Jews come together and say, you know what, we want more missiles in Israel. Or the homosexuals say, you know what, we want Equal Marriage Act. I can't knock that group for what they lobby for. So, again, we go back to a democratic process. I am not down with no process of no government where there's one person in charge. Right. Or especially if that one person, they say, oh, it's a higher being. Oh, you know, I know there's no <laughs> checks and balance there. <laughs> there is no checks and balance there. And that's what America, even though we're capitalists, their administration is golden. Can I interject? Well, let me say one more thing. When I say golden, this not only coming from me, this is coming from Che Guevara. He said, as long as you have the semblance, the, 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 even the farce, of a democracy, people are going to feel like you're going against them. Let's just say, oh, Barack Obama, he's the Illuminati, oh, and y'all take him out. All right, right, but if you take him out, I'm going to feel like, well, then we voted for him. So now you're going against what, you know what I'm saying? You're going against what, what they've what, almost, going against they've almost made it. They all, yeah, right. they've almost made it a religious blasphemy to talk a, bad I about agree. Obama. And this agree. guy is he's deporting more people than any president in history. He, he's, he's dogging out anybody who wants to. He said he wanted transparency. But, Ann, but Ann, where is there? Let me let me just ask you a question. And, and Elijah Muhammad said this a long time ago, and I'm gonna get get in on here in a minute. Oh, it's almost time. Two more minutes, get it. Where in the world, Okay. because you're well studied, Anthony, where in the world is there a better system than democracy? You show me one. Oh! Show me a democracy first. You've got no, to no, show no, no, me no, a no, democracy. No, I, I agree. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I totally agree. I'll move uh, there. Uh, like President, President Bush disproved our democracy back in 2004. When he stole the election from right. Florida, who okay. came out and voted, 99% of all blacks voted, so he had to steal it. Right, right, right. So what I'm saying here, what I'm saying but here. But they were going for that strong As long cowboy. as you got America showing yeah. fanatical religious groups, they're going to say, look at them and look at us. Well, the religious right, I mean, the, the far right is technically a, a religious group because they believe in total right. supremacy, but, white but, supremacy. But, That's a religion but, for them. Can, you, That's but, their religion. But it's like supremacy. Jesse James and Frank Capitalism. James. Capitalism. It's right. like Frank James and Jesse James. You know, you're not going to have Jesse James rob you and run to Frank James and say, your brother robbed me, are you? Meaning, meaning this. I it's just a point. metaphor. I see your point. You see my point? Yes, sir. It's simply as this. You have to show a better system, even if it's farce, and you cannot show a better system. Not I good. can. Please expound. Please, please. Okay. Uh, on my show, we got 3,000 people. We're solving homelessness by 3,000 people giving $3,000 to create nine 200-foot domes. We live with sublevels. We live, work, and school out the sublevels, and we use the top level as a revenue stream. That solves your housing problem. That solves your school problem. It solves where you're going to live. And then we, we look at what's happening with the internet right now. Right now, the internet, you can have a wonderful website, and everybody right. loves to go to your right. stuff. And they said, we don't like her, so right. we're going we're gonna to redirect her traffic. We're right. going to slow right. down right. her, and right. there's nothing you can do about That's it. Well, my answer to that, well, well, my answer to that is my answer to that is to have a worldwide cooperative telecom where the people we the people mm -hmm. put an internet together we the people are the ones who built it anyway right. corporations don't do it it is the workers that do it right. and the workers have the knowledge and technology so we need to have a worldwide internet system not ran by corporate fanatics who only rape and pillage us. Right. They're literally, right. I literally, excuse me, I'm at Comcast, mm -hmm. but just this week, I took my Xfinity box mm -hmm. and said, K 
keep it. Right. You don't want a good relationship right. with me, so right. what I'm going to do is I'm going to just not, I'm going to go to the library when I have to use the internet Thank for you. six right. months, right. and I'm going to stack my cheddar, right. and we're going to make things better. We're going right. to get with some other <laughs> folks who can build wireless systems, right. and we can have a wireless internet starting from wherever we start right. and branch out. There are solutions. Right. Matter of fact, as soon as you stop looking at capitalistic uh, uh, solutions mm -hmm. and look at other solutions uh, like socialist solutions or cooperatives, you find solutions. Right, you you can't find a solution in <laughs> capitalism because it's hegemony. Hegemony right. is Selfishness. literally helping someone else to helping your destroyer right. destroy you. Exactly. Oh. That's what that hegemony. Hegemony is helping your destroyer destroy you. Yes for the spelling, actually. Oh. We'll get okay. it. Yeah, I, get it. I, I, I know, this is how you do the spelling. You go into your voice thing, and you hit, you hit text, and you say hegemony, and you look at the spelling, and you write it down, memorize it. You don't need no teacher today. We got Google. Well, you know, we have two relatively different perspectives on the set tonight, because Truly. my sister and I, have a spiritual perspective right. because we recognize a higher power. Mm -hmm. I believe you guys are what we would probably call secular humanist, where mm -hmm. that you don't, and I don't really know your spiritual mm -hmm. persuasion, right. but the secular humanist. I'm is a spiritual one. humanist. Well, I'm a spiritualist. Uh, talk okay, to me. Praise. Man. Okay, and well, okay. Human. well <laughs> you know, we as a people are spiritual. That's right. right. Now, the issue of capitalism was, and you were talking about Nicholas Tesla. Yes. And that is such an excellent perspective because when we look at the nations, the scripture tells us, mm -hmm. Psalms 2, right. why do the heathen rage? rage? And because people plot in vain. The kings of, of the earth, the earth take their stand, their rulers all sit at the table. All right, and hold on. Okay, now, I'm going to the kings of the earth, <laughs> I know, that, that, <laughs> when we got funny. in here, yeah, we went on over. It's <laughs> funny. But see, the reality is in that biblical prophecy is yeah. that there is a conspiracy yeah. by the world nations right. against yes. us yes. as a people. Yes. But also when uh, black and others think that the nations are working against each other, yeah. they're actually working together. Right. Yes. Why? Yes. Because yes. they are all using fossil fuels. Yes. Not one nation is using the concept that Nikola Tesla <laughs> and many of our other intellects have shown sure. to give clean energy. Yeah. Even though we know the gangsters have gangstered people like they killed Mr. Tesla. Yeah. I would like to hear your perspective on when we talk about capitalism and alternative uh, ways, what would be your alternative? <laughs> That's black, by the way. What would be your <laughs> alternative <losing> <laughs> to capitalism? To capitalism? Um, equal distribution of wealth. Okay. Mm. That would be a start. Um, that sounds good, but it, I mean, it, I, does, it does as, sound as, a, good. as an administration is, is relative to communism, capitalism, uh, social, what would it be? Con what would you call it? A gift. <laughs> <laughs> I, like that. I don't know what I would call it, but Why I thought that would be a good a place to start is an equal distribution of wealth, e mm -hmm. equal rights for our humans, um, which she stated something to that effect earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, but the problem, even. Mm -hmm. Even given that, if you had equal rights, if you had equal wealth across the boards, at what point does greed and, and selfishness seep in to bring us back to the system that we're trying to get away from? This is the but, system but, that will no longer be anymore. That's what, that is what's going on in the earth with America and the bully pulpit, the banging of the gavel, the of the gavel. I'm ruling, it's my voice okay. that should be heard throughout the earth. That has ran its course. Okay, well, We're well, on I, a whole different okay, level. Okay, okay, I, I, and I, I want to bring us back to the level of ISIS. Let, let me, the of ISIS, 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 right. ISIS let, me, let me just say this. Mm -hmm. This is why, Yanga. We got a little off topic. I blame you, I blame you, Yanga. Just a little. Capitalism is an economical structure, okay? It's ISIS, racist in, it's right, right, racist I don't, don't want to talk about capitalism. Okay. I don't want to talk about capitalism. Okay. No more capitalism. Okay. <laughs> I want to talk about administration, okay. Okay. okay? This has nothing to do with capitalism Go or economic, right, you have okay. capitalism, socialism, communism, okay, out the door. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about, right now we're talking about democracy, 
Okay, and I want to know what are we going to replace it with? Kwanzaa. <laughs> exactly. You replace it with the, the Easter Bunny. You teach. You teach a principle. It's, if you're going to equate Kwanzaa with the Easter Bunny, hey, uh, no, no, no. Uh, uh, but Easter what I'm Bunny. saying is, the reason why I said Kwanzaa there. is because it's a principle. There, right. there, there. It's a set of divine principles. Divine. So it is a belief system, correct? No, I didn't say belief. No, system. I'm saying it. No, I'm not saying it. I say no, I'm not saying saying it. know Quran, Quran. No, See, see, when I said divine, when I said divine. When I said divine, there was a mishap to step to mean religion. Okay, you let me let me just divine say. And there is let, let me divine say this for the record. Mind, let me, let me say this for the record. Life and and it, and it is following that that Kwanzaa Maat. Maat's not a religion. It's a form of Ooh, practice. It's a principle. Maat is the worst theocracy. This world has ever experienced. Yeah, if my, anybody my sets up my eye, I will personally take them out. Me and the Black Knight, we will take them out. Anybody studying ISIS, anything from my eye, death to them. My eye? My eye. Death, Kwanzaa? That's, Kwanzaa, no, that's death to them. Death, death to Kwanzaa. means death. Even in my yeah, I mean, book of the dead is, is dead. So no, that well, is a theocracy. You see the how that cross, doesn't work? Galgotha was the cross in the tomb. It meant dead. Again, you put that around you. Again, name. Vince, <laughs> where can we find a better system? Skull and bones. <laughs> Because we, we, we get distracted. We talk about capitalism. And I'm just like, yo, ISIS is setting up a administration, meaning Sharia law, they're combining church with state, but it's a theocracy. Yes. And it's in line with the Bible. It's in line with the Torah and the Quran and all these books because they follow the same platform, meaning they don't trust. You know, the Bible say you guys are like children. You guys are like, you know, the guys are wretched and yeah, cheap. You know, I have to Fleet control you. everything. And that's right. basically what it's saying. Right. Man is, that's what man is saying. Right. So what I'm trying to get everybody to extract is we keep talking about America. We keep talking about it doesn't practice democracy. And I'm saying in order to defeat this beast, you have to come up with a better system. And it's not Kwanzaa and it is a theocracy because you have folks like myself, black atheists, mm -hmm. that say that's very offensive. Collective <laughs> work is a theocracy to no, you? No, no, no. The collective no, economics no, no. is a theocracy to you? Karenga. Let's look at Ron Karenga, okay? Let's look at I'm the I'm not history. looking at Karenga. I'm, I'm looking, looking at the but principle because Karenga looking at stole Karenga. it from the group that was putting it together. I'm looking at Karenga. No offense, Karenga. I'm, looking at, I'm looking at the whole, whole dynasty of Kemet in Egypt. They were theocratic. They, were they worse. could be whatever they, were, they, they could be toads. But and what the I'm saying Kwanzaa is that is um, not okay, a religion. It is a set of principles. Everybody's, collective oh. economics is a is a is a religion. A collective okay, we're talking about economics religion. again. I said not. I'm talking about administrative practices. You don't need an administration when you got the correct principles. What do I need um, with What do I need with a boss to tell was, me how? That was deep. Yes, that sir. What do deep. I need with a boss to tell me how so to you be self-actualized? So you want you want a, you want a, a anarchy. I'm not an anarchist. I have my own show. Don't have no boss. I'm not an anarchist. Okay, what I'm saying is that you have to have a structure. Yes. Because you have... It's called principles. You, you have... All right, right. An immense group of people, okay? In this group of people, you need resources to go to these Yes. Places. Okay, so we got economics. So, but see... Somewhere along the line, because all of us are born under capitalism, feel like I need a little bit more than he does. You well, know perhaps you need to so redefine why, energy, so now, uh, right, right. economics. No, 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 yes. no. Yes. What you need to do is have a fair governing body because there has to be a government. Why? To, why? You sound like Obama now. Because you need, you need, you need, <laughs> first of all, you need, you need, <laughs> you need, you need, Resources that go to, towards roads, yes. go towards hospitals, yes. go towards medicine, yes. go towards the court system, go towards okay. police systems. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of how you feel about the police, you I, need police. You need traffic. You need. I mean, you need these things. Black Sun, Come on now. I understand what you're saying about structure. Yes. Because if we didn't have structure, I just saw the movie The Purge Friday right. night. Right. If we didn't have structure, some type of structure, right. it would be a constant purge 24-7. Yes. Yes. Okay, I understand what you're saying, Anthony, about principles, because I live by a set of principles uh, that may not necessarily be God-driven. Right. But if I have 
strong principles, like you said, why do I need someone else governing me, telling me what to do? Okay. But even with that given principles, you're coming from a perspective that the people, all the people are gonna adhere to these principles. And if that were the case, we wouldn't be in a situation where we, that we're in now. I agree. Thank it has you. to be a collective Thank community. You. I'm not, I, I would not force anybody agree. to agree with my thing. I don't right. force anybody to even come to my thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Covenant communities are those who choose. Mm -hmm. So if you choose a set of principles that we cooperate, cooperative work, cooperative economics, uh, you, you're choosing self-determination. Mm -hmm. If you choose those group, th that group of principles and we group up, now we got it. Now that doesn't say we then go and force our will on anybody else. Mm. It doesn't say that. But nor does it say it is a religion or any kind of hocus pocus. Because right. collective work and economics, that's what you do whether you like it or not. Mm -hmm. You go to work and work collectively with people that can't stand you and try to fire you. And you right. still go the next day. You still go the next you day. Still go the next day. So it's you. not a religion. Yes. I'm not talking about a religion. I'm talking about functioning. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. I'm talking about reciprocity. That's mm -hmm. one of the principles. Mm -hmm. The reason why the black, black people in America and in Africa have the issue of blood, mm -hmm. because they're not reciprocate. They're not teaching the multiple effect of spending their energy. I was trying to tell Black Sun, economics is not just money. Economics is energy. Energy. Look at it at its basic Resources. level, at its principle level, it's energy. So how you spend your energy? How you conserve your energy? I don't pray for my enemies. That's a waste of energy. I pray on my enemies, P-R-E-Y, and I get what I need done. See what I'm saying? I think what Black Sun was trying to do, because <clears throat> we're talking about ISIS and they're mm -hmm. creating this mm -hmm. Islamic state mm -hmm. um, over there in the East. And he's trying to say, we don't want that uh, governing system. They over there don't want our governing system, which is democracy. Mm -hmm. Hypocrisy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. You can't keep calling it what it ain't. You can't call it what it ain't. You can't, call it it ain't. You can't it show is. me it's a democracy. Exactly. You can show me it's a because hypocrisy. Because if it was right. a democracy, it would be functioning. <laughs> right. And all throughout the earth, right. Right. there is but, much but, but dysfunction. But, but yeah. what he's trying, what Black Sun is ultimately trying to get to is, if we if we don't want the democracy, don't want the Islamic State. How do we get to a point where both sides can agree on a middle mm -hmm. and adhere to that middle? Because first of all, it's gonna be hard enough to get everybody to put their weapons down. Certainly. That's number one. And then mm -hmm. sit at a table mm -hmm. and have a rational rational discussion. reasonable mm -hmm. discussion. Yes. So mm -hmm. but that's the point I believe Black Sun is mm -hmm. trying to make. Well you know, Sister Rachelle as a Hebrew mm -hmm. and we talk about the Islamic state uh, of these these individuals over there. Mm -hmm. How would you say what would you be you know, observing us as a group and mm -hmm. coming out of the cultural center and seeing Elder Ben Amin, when we talk about trying to be self sufficient mm -hmm. as a mother and a wife, mm -hmm. what would you say we need to do in reference to like this, making a, a government within a government? Because our king is Yah, right. in the name of his anointed son. Yes, sure. But then mm -hmm. they don't see us wielding many dollars. Okay. What would you be your suggestion? Well, first of all, power is not just through wealth. That's mm -hmm. man. Correct. Mm -hmm. uh, first, I would like to uh, just say, in order to have a functioning body, a system, mm -hmm. like your own body. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do Sovereign you allow body. something foreign to come into your body? You don't like to get a cold. You, nobody right. likes to get sick. Right. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you fight those foreign bodies mm -hmm. so that you can be whole. Right. Mm -hmm. Now when we, as looking through history, all of our marches, all of our bloodshed, Sam, Alabama, mm -hmm. uh, all the sit-ins, mm -hmm. Why wasn't it functional? Mm -hmm. what, where is the fruit mm -hmm. from it? Mm -hmm. Because what I see when I even watch Al Sharpton mm -hmm. some days when I can stand, I'm, I can't, you know, I can't. he just <laughs> yells too much for me and tries to excite, uh, incite, uh, you know, get you all hyped up, right. and, you, you know, and I don't have time for that. That's emotionalism, right. um, mm -hmm. a form of control. Exactly. Follow me. Mm -hmm. um, what is the fruit from that? Because I still hear, even amongst 
those elders, mm -hmm. the grumblings, they taking the the votes mm -hmm. rights back, and they're mm -hmm. we going back these many years, and Dr. King did this and stuff like that. And I'm like, okay, so what who infiltrated? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Somebody well, infiltrated. Well, so therefore, you know? when you mm -hmm. try to do something mm -hmm. collectively. Mm -hmm. Know who you sit at the table with and make sure that you're on the same accord before you even try to advance. Okay. You first have to establish a foundation. Which is why I said a covenant community. Mm -hmm. But even like you saying uh, they were infiltrated. Mm -hmm. By their own. Right. But <coughs> if, you, if we're all of one mind mm -hmm. and we're trying to get something accomplished. Mm -hmm. Which is what you're saying is what's happening with this group, this Islamist group. Right. Okay, go ahead. And if you, we're, we're all trying to get this, the same goal accomplished. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, if their goal, but well, well, let's establish what their goal is. Because if their goal is to shed innocent blood, to oppress women by throwing acid in their faces, raping them, mm -hmm. belittling them, mm -hmm. and not respecting them as mothers, mm -hmm. aunts, grandmothers, mm -hmm. sisters, daughters, I have no part of that. We're not on the same page. We're not even in but the same. But is it okay for them to be exterminated that's... because of that? Who to be exterminated? The, the group. The, the group that's trying to do that. This, that's this. their thing. Cause, no, what we were talking about, I think, was the government, them trying to establish their form of government. Well, what kind within... of government are they trying to establish? Because exactly. ISIS has to come to the stage and speak for ISIS. Number one, I don't right. speak for ISIS. I can only speak for what I and those in ISIS, my community. ISIS says they're are speaking for do. the Muslim nation, okay. the entire right. Muslim okay. world. Okay, well then that's between those brothers and those kin folks over there. Well, let me give a perspective because it, when, go ahead, sir. Well, she said it's mm -hmm. between them over there, but it mm -hmm. does have an impact on us. Right. Absolutely. I mean, if you the oil, I mean, gas America. is not going down. Right. Mm -hmm. And the the worse the conflict gets over there in Iraq mm -hmm. with ISIS, mm -hmm. we're going to see crude oil going up. We're going to see mm -hmm. our gas prices going mm -hmm. up. I mean, it has an effect on us it's over here. It's a effect, mm -hmm. of right. course. But this, this, is, this speaks to the time that we're living in. Look at all the immorality in the earth. Right. Look at the leaders of the earth. But Look it also speaks to the biblical doing. story. See, we as Hebrews recognize that the, the scripture tells us that there is going to be wars exactly. and that America's ultimate demise is pending because right. of the corruption of the nations right. and the things that they're doing, like you're saying, to taking the resources and everything. See, world domination has to do totally with resources. Mm -hmm. yes, if sir. right resources, whether it's uh, electricity, water, was all part of a global system of helping one another mm -hmm. to clean one another's water up and not take native land, mm -hmm. then we would have a global system of love, support, mm -hmm. and unity. Because we all need that resource. We to need do. those resources. Right. But when you see this organization, ISIS, like Hebrews, like any other counterculture, or counter to the oligarchy's governmental system, then becomes terrorist groups. Because what you're trying to do is establish your system of governance over there. Now, for me, what's the alternative to uh, America's government or uh, an organization like ISIS is to establish my own he historically Hebrew culture, culture, history, foundations where my history is established among the people and therefore mm -hmm. our form of governance through elders, mm -hmm. through cooperative economics, mm -hmm through the ability to use others who may not think like I do or have the same philosophy, but want clean water and good food, Interface. we work together, interconnect like a lock, to strengthen one another. Okay, so you built this Hebrew nation, yes. which sounds great. Yes. He didn't um, build it. It was already before he existed. Already, well, I mean, but, it is, but what, my what, point is, is, what he's saying, Elder Ben Amin, right now, has built, he's built uh, restaurants, he's built international connections, okay. all this in the name of Yah and right. his people. So we have the tools, uh, uh, Yahweh, Yahweh Ben Yahweh. Mm -hmm. They bought land, mm -hmm. they began well, yeah. to rebuild okay. the, uh, communities, mm -hmm. and then uh, Are this we government. Demona? Demona. Where they're actually fighting that in now, Israel, but no, running? I was talking about here in America, but right. this government, just like ISIS, they said, well, you're trying to form just the Panthers. The Panthers start feeding the children, 
starting government programs, well, starting community-based programs. And became the number one enemy of, of the So this is what I see happening. Go ahead, sir. My, my thing is, you created this uh, Hebrew nation. Mm -hmm. So what's to stop me if, if I was part of ISIS? Because this is how they act. If, if you built this great Hebrew nation, mm -hmm. I'm building my Islamic state. Mm -hmm. I have to come across your path to continue in my reign of building my Islamic state. Right. So what do you think I'm going to say to you when I come across you and I tell you what I'm doing and you say, oh, no, 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 I'm good. We're good here with our Hebrew nation. Right. What's going to be the next step? Because they don't uh, reason. Yes. They don't reason. You're right. Well, my sister. It's all, it's all, it all depends you. on what tell, let me, no, look, I, tell. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. You got that sounds good. You got by 30 seconds okay. to convert from Hebrew <laughs> to <laughs> Islam. <laughs> And you better look me in my eyes mm -hmm. and make me believe that right. you convert. You're exactly 20, right. 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. Like you in court. What, what's it going to be? Well, let me just respond well, to well, that. Brother, please, brother, please, please. Don't be a coward. You're going to try to explain your, your neck. Right. Mm -hmm. But he's going to try to explain himself and, and why we no, should do this. And, we don't and ice, explain anything. Uh, sword. Why he in the mid-sentence? Yeah. Sword. You're right. You're right. This has happened and to our people. We've been marched. And why he's but, taking but let me, his let from me the reiterate what my head is already off. Excuse me. My, let me reiterate what my sister said earlier. She said inheritance, mm -hmm. land, and then she also explained about the families having disputes, tribal disputes over land. Over land, right? Ultimately, that's what it's all about. Globalism right. in the world community is about land, mm -hmm. and in it ends up being who has the most power. See, the nations think most they have the most power, power because it's natural. They're looking at Thank numbers, you. exactly, atomic, <laughs> nuclear, what? Our Man power stuff is again. spiritual. <laughs> right. So Man when stuff. you ask that question, you're right. This is what has happened to us traditionally, mm -hmm. historically, right. but right. ultimately the land will be, as the biblical story said, will be reallotted to the but people. But what's going to, I mean, in, in between the land being given back, Re-given. what's going to happen? Who, war, baby. Who have to die? It's war. war. Where are we at now? Right. We're in the war on the, on the, the, um, the political stage. We're at war. Mm -hmm. On the entertainment stage, we're at war at home. And, and, and sacrificing. <laughs> Isn't that what the industry does? Yeah. Snatching innocent children mm -hmm. and women. That's why you leave the border open, because you need new sacrifice offerings to who? Hasatan. Mm -hmm. So we know where we're at. Yes. We're in the time of man, mm -hmm. the mark of the beast. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. The but demons you you are what? free. <laughs> they are He's doing exactly what they're doing. Now, what so is, this is where we're at in the stage of everything that's exactly on the earth. Right. We're at war. What is your question, my brother? Well, I was just going to say, if we're at war, why? Who's, who is we that's at war? Because blacks are not acting like we're at war. Man. We're acting oh, we're, like... We're the sacrifice. Man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. We've been the sacrifice. And we have exactly. been... Exactly. And that is exactly what exactly. we're supposed to be. Exactly. See... The wow. Way, yes. Yes. It's, it's, but see, that's from a Hebraic perspective. <laughs> <laughs> and what that... that I know. Man, I'm asleep, man. What's going on? Oh, he did one of them like them men. <laughs> like... <laughs> I'm just I gotta say, I'm doing sacrifice. <laughs> no, hey, hey, the preachers don't want to say it. Exactly. The Hebrews don't want to exactly. Everybody's scared. They're they playing the coward to. role. Well, the reality of our. It, the, well, it sounds like a coward role if you're going to say you the sacrifice. Well, no, that it takes great like courage to walk up to be sacrificed. And Thank lay you. down. That, the, now, that's that's true. No that was a profound it, statement. It takes great stupidity to do it, too. No, but that, so you're telling me our brothers that put their lives on the line to win. America's wars to help go to the forefront were willing to lay their lives on a uh, on the That's line a for a nation right. that right. didn't care anything right. about yeah. them. Yeah. They yeah. said they were three fifths Come of a human on. being. Right. I don't think that is cowardly. I, I think that is the most my... bravest. The Tuskegee Airmen. <laughs> yeah. They I'm just took looking for to my flight. veterans card. I'm a veteran. <laughs> <laughs> they took I to flight. Well. And, 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 I come and from I can, a military I can, family. I can give you a company of veterans. Who say we went and did what we want? We did. We followed orders that was BS. We shouldn't mm -hmm. have done. Certainly. Uh, uh, many say I got out of it because I didn't want to. Mm -hmm. Many said I joined the other side. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, so there's a conscious element to that. Mm -hmm. Just and, and to the his whole. Problem and they were fragging during Vietnam. Fragging was what when. Man? 
called Friendly Fire. Friendly <laughs> Fire, where they sent the blacks to the spot that they then withdrew the support so that we'd be wiped out. Wow. Well, we're uh, talking about our own people shooting. There were brothers yes. shooting officers over there in Vietnam as well. Yes, yes. <laughs> when we went to fight in the Philippines, mm -hmm. you know what yes. they call oh, them yes, Filipinos? They call them niggers. Right. Yes. And that's what and caused goops, the, the American and right. and to and turn right. gun yeah, back right. on. I'm familiar. Uh, and do some Friendly Fire. Right, exactly. But, but the reality that's is, you know, let me quote the scriptures. Go ahead, Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, oh, I'm going to quote my favorite scripture. Hallelujah. It's Isaiah 50. Jesus well. Yeah. <laughs> Hell no. I'm, yes. I'm looking in the Bible. I'm looking in the Bible where it says pray He's on your enemies for heaven's sake. He's but, uh, my, my favorite verse is Isaiah 55th. Yes, sir. Okay. And it's um, you know, ho, oh, you know, we can come to a market and buy food mm -hmm. without price, money or price. Mm -hmm. Now, what kind of system is that? Bartering. Uh, thank you. Yes. And what I'm saying, we, we can set up cooperatives Absolutely. and barter networks. We, Absolutely. We don't have to use these cell phones that mm -hmm. snitches on us mm -hmm. every call, every text, every mm -hmm. tweet. I think we can come talk, up with our own telecom to system to do Absolutely. that. Absolutely. For face. real. Yeah. And, and I'm thinking it's over in the Middle East. mental telepathy. And mental <laughs> <Right>. telepathy. <laughs> exactly. I got it. You know, if it runs oh, in your oh, family. Okay, yeah. everybody, we got it. We got four minutes left. Okay. We got to start <laughs> wrapping up. Okay. okay. I'm going to give my closing okay. uh, right. because earlier Black Sun asked me, is there a solution? to the ISIS crisis. Uh, for me, I would have to say no, because ISIS, in their ultra-conservative Islamic state, mm -hmm. they are by any means necessary group. They don't care who they have to kill or go through to get to what they're trying to come. Men, women, that children. Like America. They're, exactly. they're Sunnis, they're Sunnis. <laughs> exactly. They don't care about killing more. If they got to kill exactly. 50 Sunnis to kill 100 Shiites, they're going to do that. Right. So they don't have, there's no reasoning they're zealous. with them is what I'm trying to say. The and always I was watching uh, the movie Batman the other day, the second one, okay. Dark Knight. Okay. And they were talking about the Joker. Batman was trying to figure out. Is that out, the one where the assassinations took place at the theater? Remember the boy where the, where the white boy came in the theater doing Batman and killed off a bunch oh, of yeah, people? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, the one yeah, yeah, that Lil Wayne yeah. did a mock before but, um, he carried it out? Go ahead, make it. Um, um, yeah. Batman was trying to figure out how to stop the Joker because, okay. you know, he was just that out there, just so crazy.